you know addition is commutative however you want you can add observe that we have 135 i made it 351 531 and uh, in these two you can take tan 2x common so it become tan 2x plus 1 if product of two terms is zero then each term is zero if you have cos x is equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 can be written in cos table as cos 60 degrees so cos x is cos 60 means alpha one of the x value is alpha that alpha is 60 so this is important transformation cos c plus cos t cos c minus cos d is cos sin c plus sin d sin c minus sin d should be thorough and the next problem so one of the solution is x is equal to n pi plus or minus pi by 4 the other one n pi plus minus 1 whole power n pi by 6. Welcome to the session dear students. Now I'll go ahead with problems of exercise 3.4 that is finding general solutions of a trigonometric equation. So now in exercise 3.4 find the general solution for each of the following. Question number 5. They gave cos 4x is equal to cos 2x. There are two methods to solve this. We'll go with simple method because both the sides we have same trigonometric function. Now alpha so now it is in the form of cos is equal to cos alpha is 2x alpha is what 2x what is the general solution all of you know for cos x is equal to constant general solution is x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha this is a general solution now in the place of x we have 4x so the general solution is 4x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha. What is alpha? 2x. By method of comparison, cos is equal to cos, so 2x. So, to simplify this, suppose if I give cos x is equal to half, you can write this as what? Cos x is equal to cos 60 degrees or you can write cos x is equal to cos pi by 3. Here, alpha will be pi by 3. Here cos is equal to cos of some angle. Like that they give cos 4x is cos 2x. So in the place of alpha directly you have 2x. I hope all of you understood. For example, if you have cos x is equal to 1 by 2, 1 by 2 can be written in cos table as cos 60 degrees. So cos x is cos 60 means alpha, one of the x value is alpha, that alpha is 60. This is what we used to take in other problems. Same technique I used here. So cos 4x is equal to cos 2x means alpha value is 2x. And what is the general solution? If for cos x is equal to k, gs is x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha. But in the place of x, we have 4x. 4x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha. Now we need to split this solution. So now we have 4x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus 2x. So I'll split this into two. The first one is 4x is equal to 2n pi plus 2x and the other one I will take 4x is equal to 2n pi minus 2x. So this will become 4x is equal to uh, bring this 2x to this side. So 4, 4x bring 2x to this side. 4x minus 2x is equal to 2n pi. All of you know 4 minus 2 is 2. 2x is equal to 2n pi or x a 2 2 cancels x is equal to n pi where n belongs to integer this is one solution and the other solution bring this to this side so it will become 4x plus 2x is equal to n pi 2n pi so now that is 6x is equal to 2n pi that is x is equal to 2 by 6 n pi or i'll say x is equal to 1 by 3 pi or n pi by 3 where n belongs to what integer so this is the solution set so x is equal to n pi or x is equal to n pi by 3 both will satisfy where n belongs to what integer so if you see the problem is in the form cos of 4x is equal to cos of 2x so alpha is directly 2x another method is bring cos 2x to lhs it will become cos c minus cos d you know cos c minus cos d transformation formula you use and simplify you will get the solutions now, the next problem, cos 3x plus cos x minus cos 2x equal to 0. There are three terms. So here, the first two terms, if you observe, they are in the form cos c plus cos d. All of you know what is cos c plus cos d. Cos c plus cos d is 2 cos c plus d by 2 
into cos c minus d by 2. Cos c plus cos d is what? 2 cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2. So, cos 3x plus cos x can be written as 2 cos 3x plus x by 2 into sin 3x minus x by 2 minus the third term. Third term is cos 2x is equal to 0. Here this is c and this is d. So, cos c plus cos d can be written as 2 cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2. I am using this. Now, the problem reduces to 2 cos or of you know 3x plus x is 4x, 4x by 2x is 4x by 2x is 2, x into sin 2x by 2 is x minus cos 2x is equal to 0. Now in these two terms take out cos 2x, take cos 2x common, then you will be left out with 2 sin x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we need to split this. So one part is cos x is equal to 0. For this you can write the solution. Cos x is equal to 0 means in cos table where you will get 0? Cos 90 is 0. So alpha is 90. And you know the general solution. What is the general solution? x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha. So here x is equal to what? 2n pi plus or minus pi by 2. So where n belongs to what? Integer. So we got one solution for the first part. Sorry, cos 2x here. Cos 2x is 0. So therefore 2x, that is 2x. Now we need to get x from this. So 2x is equal to have 2n pi plus or minus pi by 2 divided by 2 or transfer 2 to that side. So it will become 2n pi by 2 plus or minus pi by 2 into 2. So that is 2 to cancel. So it will become n pi plus or minus pi by 4. This is the value of x. Then similarly we have 2 sin x minus 1. So 2 sin x minus 1 equal to 0 or sin x becomes 1 by 2. So alpha in sin table where you will get 1 by 2 you know sin 30 degrees is 1 by 2. 30 means what pi by 6. What is the general solution for this? x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 whole power n alpha. That is n pi plus minus 1 whole power n into pi by 6. So this is the solution. And n belongs to what? Integer. So, one of the solution is x is equal to n pi plus or minus pi by 4. The other one, n pi plus minus 1 whole power n pi by 6. So, if you see here, cos c plus cos d when you reduce, we get product of two functions. You can take cos 2x common. Then product of two terms is 0 means each term is 0. Here this is cos 2x is equal to 0. Cos 2x is equal to 0. Alpha, alpha is what? Pi by 2. You know, cos 90 is 0. And general solution, if it is x, we will write x is equal to, but here we have 2x. So, 2x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha. And solve for x, you will get the value. Then, sin c, uh, sin 2x plus cos x. See, last problem, we use cos transformation, cos c plus cos d. Now, the problem is, find the general solution of sin 2x plus cos x equal to 0. Sin 2 theta, all of you know multiple angle. What is sin 2 theta? Sin 2 theta or sin 2x is 2 sin x into cos x. Therefore, I have sin 2x here. So, consider the given problem that is sin 2x plus cos x is equal to 0. You know sin 2x can be written as 2 sin x into cos x plus cos x is equal to 0 and in these two you can take cos x common if you take cos x common it will become 2 sin x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now if you have product of two terms 0 then equate each term to 0 so I will equate cos x to 0 if I equate cos x to 0 I will get one solution the second part is 2 sin x plus 1 equal to 0. Now solve each equation and get the values or get the solution. For this alpha, in cost table where you will get 0 at 90 degrees, alpha is pi by 2. And what is the general solution for cos x is equal to k, you know for cos x is equal to k, the GS is x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha. So now x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha is the general solution. That is x is equal to 
2n pi plus or minus alpha is what pi by 2 where n belongs to what integer this is one set of solution and the other one now solve this or simplify this 2 sin x plus 1 equal to 0 so the other one is what 2 sin x plus 1 equal to 0 I can write it as 2 sin x is equal to what minus 1 or sin x is equal to what minus 1 by 2 now in sign table where you will get 1 by 2 at 45 degrees so alpha is 45 because it is negative my alpha is minus and what is the general solution for sin x is equal to k all of you know for sin x is equal to k general solution is x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 whole power n alpha so now x in the place of x we have x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 whole power n into alpha what is alpha minus pi by 4 simplify this further so it become n pi plus into minus is minus minus 1 whole power n pi by 4 this is the value of what x x is what n pi minus minus 1 whole power n pi by 4 when n belongs to what integer see in today's problems we used transformation formula and also we used multiple angles and then we simplified when you take the first problem in the very first problem that is problem of the form cos 4x is equal to cos 2x cos is equal to cos form is there so alpha is directly 2x and we wrote the general solution but we have plus or minus 2x split it always final answer you should make x as the subject so here we'll get x as 2n pi plus or minus alpha and the other solution will get x as x as n pi by 3 and the second question we used transformation for solving this cos c plus cos d cos c plus cos d is 2 cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus c by 2 if both are cos and in between plus means here both will be cos one is sum by 2 the other one is difference by 2 so this is important transformation cos c plus cos d cos c minus cos d is cos sin c plus sin d sin c minus sin d should be thorough and the next problem here sin 2x was there we use multiple angle all of you know sin 2 theta can be written as 2 sin theta cos theta then 2 sin x cos x then we took cos x common then we have product of two terms if product of two terms is zero then each term is zero so one becomes cos x zero the other one becomes 2 sin x plus 1 zero solve them separately and get solutions i hope all of you understood this so now i have done problems of general solutions where we reduce the equation using multiple angles using transformations now we'll go ahead with the next problem that is problem number 12 secant square 2x minus 1 minus tan 2x you know secant square x can be written as 1 plus tan square x is equal to 1 minus tan 2x further 1 plus tan square 2x is equal to 1 minus all of you know tan 2x you rearrange this bring it to lhs tan 2x you can cancel one you transfer that side so it will become tan square 2x plus tan 2x is equal to 1 minus 1 further this will reduce and it will become tan square 2x plus tan 2x is equal to 0 in these two term tan 2x you can take common if you take common it will become tan 2x plus 1 equal to 0 now we have two terms one is tan 2x is equal to 0 and the other one is tan 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 for these two solve and get separate equations the first one is what tan 2x is equal to 0 alpha and tan table will get 0 and you know what is the general solution for tan x is equal to k the general solution is x is equal to n pi plus alpha so now for tan 2x it will become 2x is equal to n pi plus alpha that is n pi plus alpha is 0 so 2x is equal to n pi or x is equal to n pi by 2 the second part tan 2x plus 1 so tan 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 that is tan 2x is equal to minus 1 you know in tan table where you will get 1 at pi by 4 so this is negative so minus pi by 4 and gs is in spite of x we have 2x so 2x is equal to n pi plus minus pi by 4 so this will become 2x is equal to 
n pi minus pi by 4 and transfer 2 to that side so x is equal to n pi by 2 minus pi by 4 to the 8 and n belongs to integer so this is the answer here secant square theta all of you know secant square theta in maths can be written as 1 plus tan square theta so here secant square 2 x i'll write it as 1 plus tan square 2 x and bring this tan 2 x to lhs it will become plus tan 2 x transfer 1 to that side it will become minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 and uh, in these two you can take tan 2 x common so it will become tan 2 x plus 1 if product of two terms is 0 then each term is 0 solve it you will get the required value then sin x plus sin 3 x plus sin 5 x so group them use sin c plus sin d transformation and try to arrive at the result so here sin x plus sin 3 x plus sin 5 x so group it sin c plus sin d repeatedly use the formula for what sin c plus sin d what is sin c plus sin d sin c plus sin d is 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2 so here you can see 1 3 5 are there i'll club first term and last term however you want you can do i'll write uh, sin 5x plus sin 3x plus sin x i wrote like this now i'll use the transformation for these two sin c plus sin d can be written as 2 sin c plus d by 2 5x plus 3x 8x by 2 into sin c minus d by 2 so 5x minus 3x that is 2x by 2 plus sin x that is r r here let me clearly mention sin c plus sin d i will use the formula for sin c plus sin d if i do so i will get 5x plus 3x by 2 in, into sin c minus d by 2 that is 5x minus 3x by 2 plus the last term last term is sin x equal to what 0 now that is 2 times sin of you know 5 plus 3 is 8 8 by 2 is 4x sin you know 5 minus 3 is to 2 by 2 is x plus sin x and you can take sin x common take sin x common if i take sin x common i'm left out with 2 times sin 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 so now product of two terms is 0 you know if product of two terms are 0 then you can equate each term to 0 so i'll equate first term sin x to 0 so alpha is also 0 and x is equal to what n pi plus minus 1 whole power n alpha that is x is equal to what n pi plus minus 1 whole power n into 0 x is equal to n pi and the other solution 2 sin 4x plus 1 so 2 sin 4x plus 1 equal to 0 so it will become sin 4x is equal to minus 1 by 2 so alpha is what 30 degrees so 30 means what pi by 6 that is minus pi by 6 it's negative so 4x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 whole power n alpha that is 4x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 whole power n into minus pi by 6 that is x is equal to you can write x is equal to n pi by 4 plus minus 1 whole power n minus pi by 6 into 4 that will become n pi by 4 plus into minus becomes minus minus 1 whole power n pi by 24 and n belongs to what integers i hope all of you understood this so here we have sin c plus sin d what is sin c plus sin d 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2. First, I arranged in the form descending order. 5, 3, 1. You know, addition is commutative. However, you want, you can add. Observe that we have 1, 3, 5. I made it 3, 5, 1, 5, 3, 1. And I club these two terms. I use sin c plus sin d. And I took sin x common. And we have product of two equations. Two factors is equal to 0. Then equate each factor to 0. Sin x equal to 0. Give one set of solution and the other one. So, I hope all of you understood this. So, by this... I conclude general solutions. I'll see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.